Hello guys, this is Herman from Visaya. Today is a really rainy day in Berlin. Uh, so we decided to take a road trip. If you own a car, you're bound to go to the filling station at least once a week. So I wonder how much it will cost. An average car has around 16 gallons or 60 liters of capacity. If I fill up my tank here in Germany, it will be around 60 euros. In the US will be 36 euros and in Venezuela will be 16 cents. That's kind of crazy. Nevertheless, have you thought about how accurate is the measurement when you're filling up your tank? According to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the accuracy of a flometer in a fuel dispenser is around of 0.3%. Fuel is also affected by temperature changes. With a gradient of temperature of only 30 degrees Celsius, the volume of fuel can change up to 3%. This means that if I want to fill the tank of this car that has around 60 liters, the error could be around 1 or 1.5 liters. Imagine for a second that you don't have to take your car to go to work, but you take this, the OOCL Hong Kong container ship. This little ship consumes around 21,000 gallons of fuel per day. It's the equivalent to 1,300 cars. That's quite a lot. So how do you transfer fuel to this big ship? Is there a fuel dispenser in the middle of the ocean? Actually, to answer this question, we have to go to Singapore. Singapore is one of the biggest bunker stations in the world. In the past, my engineers used dipping sticks to measure the level in fuel tanks. Then later, they calculate the volume and mass of transfer fuel using the density and compensating for temperature changes. This was, of course, a really inefficient and inaccurate process. Today, container ships use bunkering metering systems that use cordless flometers. Cordless flometers are able to measure not only the mass of transfer fuel, but as well the density and the temperature of the transferring process. If you want to learn more about cordless flometer measurement, click on the video below. So what are the benefits of using bunkering metering systems? First of all, the accuracy of the system is around of 0.05%. Additionally, you can save around three hours in the complete transfer process. This sums up to savings of around 2,000 euros per transfer process. So you can do the math. Bunkering metering systems are completed with controlled cabinets that record all the transactions and obey national and international laws. This way, the process is efficient and transparent. Fuel bunkering systems is an example of how instrumentation allow processes like fuel transfer be more efficient and convenient. Now go and check the last thing you purchased and leave in the comments below where it was produced. Now think about how many kilometers it had to travel to get to you and the crucial role of instrumentation in that process. As always, thank you for watching and I see you next week.